Are you in need of PTCGO codes? Well, look no further because PTCGO store has your back. With affordable prices, weekly sales and instant email delivery, they'll have you open in packs with a smile large enough to overshadow your inevitable existential crisis. Huh. And for an even cheaper price, click the link below and use the code FTW at checkout. Right, yo. So uh, as you can see, there has been some uh, small changes um, to the the home studio. I got a new piece of equipment, um, particularly for my audio, um, both for music and YouTube. However, I haven't finished it just yet when it comes to setting it up and stuff. It's only a few more things, um, but I, it's quite big. <laughs> I have had to move my PC screen backwards up on a stand, which is why you're up there and I'm down here. Uh -huh. But regardless, the show must go on. So shall my terrible humor. I am still adjusting, so it may not be perfect. This is just what I've got for now. It probably will change for the better. Um, right now, I still think there's a bit too many shadows going on. Today, we have a very interesting list. Do I say it every video? Do I? I don't know. Regardless, this one has some sort of footfold behind it. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. Um, it's based on a an archetype that has been proven in the um, in the current format and has definitely seen play in uh, tournaments and done well. It's ADP. So ADP, of course, has been proven very well. And we're combining it with a card that seems to have been forgotten, Latias and Latios Tag Team GX. And we're doing this for one particular reason, okay? Um, adding that extra 30 damage brings Buster Purge to 270. That's a very critical number when it comes to tag teams, okay? You're one-shotting your move freeze, you're one-shotting your rest yards and stuff, right? You do some big one-hit KOs on some big, relevant tag teams. Now, there are some tag teams that you're just shy of hitting, one of them being ADP themselves. Um, so in order to be able to deal with that, um, then of course we have the likes of Dragon Talon, we have also Giratina in there as well to do some spread damage and hit into things like um, again in the mirror match, Keldeo and stuff like that, although Keldeo can knock it out. Be that as it may, this has some serious damage, it can one-shot some extremely relevant cards, and uh, I've come up against a lot of tag team decks, a lot of really good decks, and been able just to sort them out in a couple of turns and win the game very easily. We're going to get into a game and uh, hopefully we come up against some tag teams that are, uh, are just going to be destroyed by this, so I can show you how good this actually could be. All right, here we are. Up against, let me turn my uh, my volume down here. I, I wanna make sure it's up on this. I think it is. Turn it up a little bit. Okay. Um, right, I saw Dragon, I saw Psychic. Hopefully it's a, oh no, it's probably in the Crosma Malamai. It seems to be a deck that's kind of walking around on the ladder a little bit, uh, stretching its legs after being dormant for a little while. So yeah, um, I'm, I'm probably expecting that kind of matchup. Uh, which is actually a pretty good one. It works in our favor very well. And um, the extra prize that ADP offers allows us to one-shot these baby GX Pokemon. If we're saying baby... Okay, just normal GX Pokemon and um, take three prizes off them. So we only need to actually take out two uh, standard GX Pokemon to actually win the game. And we've one-shot every single standard GX. So honestly, a GX matchup is probably more ideal than a tag team GX matchup. Um, so that's, that's something to, to consider, definitely. Great thing about the Tag Team GX matchup and also taking the extra prizes, which is something you could probably tell anyway when playing ADP with any other sort of combo, um, is once you take out the Tag Team, you're taking four pri- Oh, yes, okay. I was gonna say, once you're taking out a Tag Team, you're taking four prizes. Um, all right, we're gonna do this and this because that's quite relevant right here. Um, and then all you need to do is take out a basic, sorry, a, a non-GX Pokemon and you're, you're sorted for the game, to be honest. Righty-o. I think playing the Guzma and Harla is the play here. Is it? I don't know. Yeah, it is the play. Hands down the play. We're gonna get rid of a Psychic and a Pokecom. Um, we wanna get stuff going here. So we wanna get the forest. We wanna get rainbow energy. And uh, do we get the skateboard? Or do we get the Dragon Talon? We'll get the escape board. Right, yeah, so the Dragon Talon is for these, um, funnily enough, ADP birds, which is, it seems to be the most um, relevant ADP deck right now. And obviously, 300 HP is too short for us. So if we attack into an ADP birds, uh, or we attack into the birds, sorry, and by birds, I mean Articuna, Moltres, and Zapdos, um, and they respond by attacking into us, they're going to get KO'd. So it's, it's a very big deterrent for them to even attack into us after we've hit them with our big attack. Um, also, this is pretty good at being just a whack-whack, you know, one-hit KO, 
one hit KO game type deck, right? So it's actually pretty good at charging up. Obviously, it's ADP. It's uh, ultimate ray attack is very solid, proven. Um, yeah, it's also pretty good at charging up your... Uh, oh, they're doing some damage. Your Latias and Latios. To an extent, we don't even need to switch into another one. You can just have one Latias and Latios and uh, have it charged up with enough energy to actually do two big shot, one-shot KOs and win the game. Like, it's, it's that, that level. That level. That's the level we at. Okay, I'm going to take another Cynthia just to be safe. I want to be safe. I don't want a dead draw at all. That's where this deck can really stumble. So we're going to play safe and not do any sort of dead drawing. Uh, bearing in mind, they are hitting 160 on us. Um, not enough, but they, they have that potential. Right. I want to retreat this in case. So escape boards are for Jirachi, but, you know, the circumstances are laying itself out here. We want to do that. We're on the Viridian Forest for certain. And we also kind of want to keep the reset stamp because they might get a KO on this. So let's recover the Guzman Hala. Oh, sweet. That's actually pretty good. Um, we can retreat this bad boy. Throw this up here. And evolve for now. Do we have that Psychic? We have the Psychic. So we already have another Psychic on this, which is great. Malamar's pretty good for this deck because... Um, an ADP deck tends to have a lot of space to work around with text and stuff. So... Thought Malam would be great to just add some longevity at least. We can even grab an extra energy. Um, don't really see the need to right now. Maybe I could just for the sake of uh, thinning the deck. But in case they replace the Viridian Forest and we you know, need an energy, I'm just going to leave it. Because I want to keep this Viridian Forest. I don't want to get rid of anything else. So, GX attack. Sweet. Um, that kind of resolves any issues of them potentially having a Latios and using their GX attack. So, that's kind of good. <laughs> Um, right, this, this is going really, really well. We just need to get the energy, which of course we can with the Viridian Forest. Accelerate these bad boys and just come in and just, just, just win this game. Oh, they're going to go for that. Okay, that's fair. In any case, we're still pretty fine. We can retreat that, that uh, Latios and Latios manually, so it's okay. That's another great thing. Like, it's, it's, it's one retreat course. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Um... But yeah, we want to just do mad damage, mad damage. And if we do struggle, as I said, against these bigger decks, then um, that's why Malamar's here. That's why we have the, the um, Dragon Talon. Um, in the later format, it will be that. What's that? That that that? It's like a choice ban, but it does 10 extra damage, if I'm correct. That's going to be extremely relevant if this is around. I don't know what the, how the rotation is going to work out because I know we're matching with Japan and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just going to lay that out there. Okay, this is a bit of a weird one. Uh, obviously, we can retreat. Um, we don't need to retreat. We, we don't need to uh, attach the escape board to this. Don't see that as particularly relevant. Um, do we want another Inke down? I'm trying to think what's the right play here. What do we get rid of? We don't need another Inke down just yet. So I'm going to Cynthia and Caitlyn this mysterious treasure away. Let's get rid of that. Oh, we actually got another Inke. And we got a switch. That's actually sick. Okay. Let's go for the... Oh, do we do the switch or do we save that for the ADP? We can manually retreat here. Accelerate the energy back on. Yeah, why not? We don't, we don't have to waste the switch. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. That's, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, so Viridian Forest doesn't seem to be that important right now. Let's get the... We'll get the metal because that's the least used energy um, for Latios. So let's do that. Let's get the... Let's get that on there. Obviously, we, we do run the risk of them playing another Great Catcher and hitting into us with some serious damage. But I think we're pretty good. They seem to be struggling a bit. Ultimate Ray, we're going to throw a ton of energy just onto this one bad boy here. There we go. So that's charged up, ready to go, which is nice. And we're getting these Malamars set up for a, another one. So we are really, really... Really well set up here. So hopefully we can just destroy this. Now we have to bear in mind that they are struggling. I mean, it's, it looks like they're dead drawing in some ways, right? They haven't got their dust stones, which obviously they need. Um, yeah, there's problems. There's definitely problems on their end. Now, right, so they are hitting 160, which makes it super relevant for us to... If we get, like, a Mallow and Lana, that would be dope. Wait, what? Oh, no, it's 240, isn't it? Ah, yes, 240. Alas! Do not worry. That is why we saved this bad boy, which I, don't, I think I packed that, by the way. I think I packed that. It's all right. It's good. We're going to drop him to free and have him nothing. Literally give him nothing. Nothing to work with. All right. Um, 
I don't know why the Malamars are like, oh, they weren't lighting up. We're going to reset stamp them. Now, the Guzma and Hala doesn't seem like the play here, to be honest with you. It really, really doesn't. However, getting an energy this turn to attach really does seem like the play. Because we want to get the energy we get rid of here off this Latios into the discard pile. Malamar, those bad boys back on. Brilliant Forest. Bang, we go for another hit. Take game from there, ideally. So, bust the purge. Nice. Dropped them to three. Now, we have to just hope that they don't have it. Which, they're down to three. They only have a Miss Magius. The odds are slim. Also, didn't know if this was relevant or not. Right, I'm going to read that after I take my prizes. But I don't know, right, whether or not this is take an extra prize... When your opponent's active Pokemon is not to have a damage from those attacks. Okay, those attacks, okay. So what I was thinking was, if they miss Magius, do we take two prizes? No. We only take one. So, that means Magius is still on the table for them, but they need to bench another Pokemon. If they have no Pokemon to bench, it's game. What are we saying, Chief? Do you have it? Okay, so they've got the Pokemon to get down. A Weezing. Okay, I see this. I see this. They got the card shot. Easy, mate. Sweet. They can get an energy on it. They can go for the 40. But uh, that is just KO time for them. And a Karate. Oh, wow. That's actually quite relevant. Well, lads and girls, we have game. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get the energy down, charge it up, come back in with a KO. And obviously, thanks to ADP, we're taking two prizes on this bad boy. We could even be cheeky and go for the Great Catcher just to rub it in. But you know what? I'm a humble lad. I'm an honest man, okay? So, I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay, maybe that was a bit too cheeky. <laughs> we'll go in, bust the purge, take it out, and that is game. Easy, mate. Easy. We're going to definitely roll for another one now. Let's go for another one. All right, here. Oh, Wait, we didn't just pay this person, right? It's a dragon and psychic deck again. It can't be. It can't be. No. I honestly don't remember. I didn't check the top left. So I didn't check whether or not this person, Daxus, is someone we actually played just a second ago. All right. Um, let's see how this one unfolds. Um, is it the same person? I don't know. If you know, then you obviously know what deck it's probably going to be. Uh, which means there's probably not many people playing PDCGO right now. No. Okay. Wait. Mm, I don't know. That's not proof. Okay. It's probably a Malamar deck. Let's be real. Um, in that case, this hand is a bit weak for a ADP startup. Right? We can get the energy on Latios. That's cool. But we want to start with ADP as soon as possible just to get it over and done with. Get the setup going and then just come in and win. Right? We, we want to play this one way and one way only. We want to set up ADP. We want to charge up the lats. And we want to take KOs. That is the goal at the end of the day. Um, and if we get a KO with the ADP in the early game, fantastic. But goal is to just come in, take big bad boy KOs. All right. I, I think this is the same guy, if not the same deck. I, I don't know. I'm honestly lost. I don't know. All right. We're actually just going to straight Cynthia here. Uh, oh, do we? No. I want to keep the Viridian Forest. I want to get an ADP and Viridian Forest to get an energy down. That's a, that's quite an easy thing to do in this deck, right? Okay. It's doable. It's happening. That's cool. So, the Malamars aren't Malamars are needed right now, so they're not that crucial. I would like to get a Jirachi out, though. Oh, that would be so good. But we must commit to the, uh, to the plan, right? We must commit to the plan. We're actually going to get this Giratina in a discard pile, just in case it becomes relevant. We're going to get an energy on there. All right. Next turn, come in with that water energy. Sweet. Now, do we bring this to the active? No, I want it to take as little damage as possible. If this takes damage, we can just find another one, hopefully. Our hand is rough, okay? Our hand is, is, is not in a good place. It's a pretty terrible hand. I'm going to be real with you, okay? Not good. Absolutely not good. So, yeah. I honestly think this is the same fella. Obviously, you will know because you've seen and you, mate, you can go back and check, but 
I don't know right now. It's live, so I, I, have, no, I have no clue. But I'm assuming it's the same, the same guy. Oh, what a top deck, baby. That is some good stuff there. Sweet. This deck just likes to do its own thing, man. It's great. Um, we haven't even needed Jirachi in the last game, and it seems like now it's not really seeming that important. But I'm still going to get it down. Boy, am I not going to take that. Um, sorry, not going to miss that opportunity. Let's get Cynthia and Caitlyn, and probably a Mallow and Lana seems like the smart play. Um, if anything... Yes, yeah, definitely. Just just, just in case we need to get those heals so they don't get that crazy KO option that they did last game. Um, do we take the... No, we don't need to use Giratina right now. Um, kind of a waste of space on the bench. Don't need the Viridian Forest. Uh, we could do it to get energy in the discard pile, but the Malamars ain't there, so it's not really needed. Let's, let's just alter, alter creation. Let's just go for it. Nice and clean. Now, the Rainbow Energy causes a detriment to us. Obviously, it brings them to to uh 40 which we don't want <laughs> so we're not gonna we'll probably just go with the psychic energy onto the adp to allow it to attack or we can just find another metal energy which is ideal but well we'll see whoa boy you got three of them okay so that roxy is gonna do some dirt if they've got a roxy tell me you've got a roxy go on drop it there it is yeah that's bad because that's gonna really really put us in some serious range now I know how this deck likes to work. Obviously, you go for the Miss Magius, and then you just manually attach. Da -da -da. But I honestly see... It, I, why? I, okay, I could be proven wrong. Okay, because you have to bear in mind, my involvement in, in the competitive scene when it comes to watching tournaments and stuff like that is almost nil. Okay, so you have to take that with a pinch of salt with what I say. Always. But isn't it just better to just do a Malamar list, right? Just Malamar it up. Brilliant Forest. Play your Roxies. Bob's your uncle. Am I missing something? Or is it the whole idea of going behind in prizes and reset stamping them and being able to use things like GGX in turn with that? And I, I don't know. I don't know. Although that needs a lot of energy. Discard one of your friends' Pokemon to come across instead of it. Discard two of your friends' Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I'm assuming it wants to reset stamp a lot and all that. So that seems to be the idea. Regardless, they need to retreat before they do anything. Do they get that retreat? Oh, oh, oh. oh, this guy's doing exactly what he wants. However, I don't think he's got the KO. Which makes this really great, really good right now. Although, we do need to attack. Okay. We'll Malo and Lana, if they get the play. This is if they get the play, okay? We'll Malo and Lana to the Jirachi. We'll play the Jirachi, get whatever we get. Retreat back to it, so it's healed up a bit at least. And... But is it relevant? I don't know. It, it, let, let's see if they get the hit. They need to get the switch. They need to get the hit. Did they... Oh, they ain't got it. Come on. All righty. All righty. All righty. Let's, let's, let's thin the deck a bit here. Um, we want to Cynthia and Caitlyn first. Get, get more cards in our hands before we go for a Viridian Forest. Let's just ditch that. Bring ourselves a Cynthia so we can draw. Nice. Um... You can see these Cynthia Caitlins tend to come in clutch in this deck quite a lot. Uh, we're going to ditch. Probably. I might tag cool. I don't want to ditch the energy. Do I ditch the energy? Yeah, ditching the psychic seems like a no-brainer, right? Let's tag cool, see what we get. Got a Guzman Harder option there, which is great. And another Latios and Latios. Fantastic, right? So that's a pretty solid hand, if I if I do say so myself. We're gonna bench this just about. So it's a fresh one, no damage counters. Gonna ditch the psychic, get ourselves. Ah, see, there's no metal, and we want to keep the energy in deck. By the way, ah, uh, do we? Yeah, ah, uh, do we? Yeah, we want to keep it in deck. Um. Now here's the question: Does attaching the rainbow? Okay, I really want to save that extra water energy, um, for the latioses. Because we need that to attack. But I don't think it's that much of a loss. Right. Uh, we, yeah, we're going to... We're going to attach the wall. We're going to attach the psychic, actually. I don't know what I'm saying. However, we need the psychics to be able to get the... Uh, the ball rolling into... I think we're going to risk it. We're going we're gonna to attach this water, okay? We have the rainbows if we need it and all that. We're going to come in here. They're, obviously, they're going to respond with a big hit. Um, but I don't think it's enough to take us out. And I, unless they get a double Roxy wheezing, then they ain't doing it. Unless I'm missing something. But I don't think I am. I'm going to ultimate Ray, right? I'm going to ultimate Ray onto the fresh 
Latias and Latios. And it, actually, we're fine. If they KO us, we win. What am I talking about? We can just respond and KO this thing. That's... Mate, we are good. We are... Oh, we're sorted. See, this is what I mean. This deck's just so simple. <laughs> just winning games. It's like, yeah, just take them out. See you later. Game. Absolutely mad. All right. And we got the uh, Man of Alana as well, which is good. Although we only had one. There's that metal energy we, will, we wanted, but hey, that's fine. Mate, come at me. You come at me. It's game. It's cool. We got the Viridian Forest. Do not drop the Viridian Forest and we are good. I mean, even then, we're fine. Okay, we're sorted. Also, let me know in the comments. Is this the same fella? I don't know. Um, Scissor and Caitlyn. I'm trying to figure out now, is there any way they can stop what I've got planned, right? Because what I've got planned is for them to KO me and attack them. If they don't KO me, I retreat and attack them. What other options do they have? They can try and stick this one in the active, which actually would do... would cause a problem. That's assuming that they have... Which, if this is the same fella, they do have... A great catcher. So great catchering this into the active would be a very smart move for the time being. So do they go for the greed play? Or do they go for the smart play? It also depends what they have. So yeah, they have options. I'll be real. They have options. It depends what they go with. Is there any other play I'm missing? Obviously, they got the Miss Magius. They have that. That's fair. Um... Hmm. Is it just me? Or this deck, does this deck have a lot of commitment just to do 240? They, uh, they took the bait. Okay. Guys, what do you want me to say? It's game again. It's just attach, retreat, and uh, bust a purge. I don't think I need to explain anything else. This deck has just shown you exactly what it can do. Obviously, in the Giratina matchup, it destroys it. Okay, this is a, <laughs> clearly, this is a, a favoured matchup. Obviously, you have to bear in mind, playing, I don't think I'm the best player. But, 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 take, hear me out, okay? We have destroyed that deck there. <laughs> Absolutely smashed it. And you can smash these other relevant decks. It's a good deck. So, this is the list. You can... If you want to, you can even take a Keldeo in here. Like, th that's an option, that, which is kind of crazy. You can take a Keldeo. So, if I was going to suggest any sort of text, maybe a Keldeo. Because that would actually be pretty good in the mirror matchup, believe it or not. Um, which would be kind of cool. That'd be a weird matchup. Our ADP mirrors must be so weird, right? Keldeo, Ke I don't know. Um, I'm sure they have ways of dealing with it. <laughs> um, I have other cards in here that you really didn't really see play. Roses in this deck, uh, inspired by a lot of ADP decks. They tend to be able to favor Rosa a lot. Um, maybe we could play a second, but again, this deck's so aggressive. I, it doesn't really need to do that, to be honest with you. Um, the ADPs that pay Rosa tend to anticipate a KO. We don't really want that. Um, Obviously, reset stamp, maybe some more just in case. But those are for anticipating them getting us and KOing us, considering that we want to tap. We, sorry, not want to, but we tend to tank a lot of hits at the start of the game. Um, I am really, really happy with this setup. I think it's really solid. I think it does its job very well. Even though the draw supporters seem to be somewhat lackluster, it never seems to dead draw. I think Tag Call really helps with that. Cynthia and Caitlyn is absolutely boss in this deck. Like, it allows you to just reuse supporter cards. Obviously, a bunch of few Cynthia's down. Kaylin and Cynthia brings it to hand. So you tend to not dead draw mainly because of this and uh, because of this. So it seems like you're excused on having a bit less supporters just because we have that option. So, um, I mean, what more do you want to say? This deck is extremely good. It's very good. It can one-hit KO things. And even the ones it can't one-hit KO, it has ways of taking them out afterwards. So... What more do you want to say? It's sick. <laughs> I'm just going to say it's dope. And I'm going to be playing it for a while. I've been having mad win streaks of it. And I'm loving every single bit of it. So try it out for yourself. And let me know. Is there any text you would suggest yourself? And um, yeah. I think I think, I think think that's all it uh, for today. Steve, I will leave you to it. Do leave a like if you didn't enjoy. And of course, subscribe for more. But most importantly, take care of yourself. And I'll see you next time. Peace.